Okay, good afternoon or good morning, wherever you are, it may be. Thanks again for joining me for another very simple, easy arts and crafts project. And this, once again, is a recycled arts and crafts project. And I'm going to show you how to make bracelets using plastic water bottles. How easy, cheap, and simple is that? First, you're going to need a um, plastic water bottle some crafts glue, some scissors, some beads, and some yarn or, you know, whatever color you want. Okay, get a water bottle and if you're making it for yourself and adult, then you need to get pretty much an average size uh, water bottle that'll fit your wrist. Um, if you're making it for a child, you could probably go with either the narrower, cut out the narrower part of the water bottle or just use a smaller bottle. Now, this is a little tricky and I hope I'm gonna, not going to cut my finger off doing this, but you just need to cut a hole into the water bottle. Okay. It's really kind of good if you start by getting a hole, a cut, cut in there. Um, and then just cut all around. And unfortunately, I just used this water bottle and emptied the water out of it, so it's still got water in it. Let me shake that out. A little water there on our set today. Okay, so now you see also how this end is kind of raggedy. Two things. That's okay, and then again, you could trim it up. Okay, so now you've got the water bottle. You've kind of cut away from it. Once again, you had a water bottle, cut it in half. Um, I need to poke another hole, another starting point, so that I've, I'm going to make this into a bracelet. Um, obviously, it needs to have an opening, looks like a donut, not be all closed up in the bottom. So I'm just going to punch another hole. Sometimes this is a little hard. You got to be careful with this because you could really cut hurt yourself. Okay, so I started a hole, and I'm just going to cut around. Now, it's not going to look pretty at first. Oh, and don't throw this other piece away, because you could actually put a pin back on here and make a brooch, fill it with flowers and make a brooch, but we'll use that for uh, another day. So now you have a piece of plastic, and it's great for the environment, because once again, we're recycling, and I'm just going to trim a little bit of the jagged edges because I was kind of rough when I was cutting. I know because this is plastic it might be a little hard for you to see. But I'm just going to trim that up a little bit. And it really won't matter too much at this point because first of all this is probably the first one you're doing so it's not going to be perfect. But second of all once you wrap fabric around it, um, once you wrap something around it you're not going to see that or feel it anyway. Okay. So, say you have, I got some really pretty ruffled yarn. This is actually some stuff I used for something else. But they have this fuzzy kind of yarn um, at the craft shop. So, what I'm going to do is just going to wrap it. Uh, you know what? Instead of me showing you with that, let me show you with a smaller piece of yarn. Something that you'll better be able to see. Okay, I'm gonna cut, I got a piece of yarn. And remember, it, this can be any color combination you want. Um, if I were gonna really go ahead and finish this one right now, you wanna take a drop of craft glue, um, the quick drying tacky glue is best, or a hot glue gun, or you could probably even hold it in your hand, like what I'm gonna do. And you're just gonna basically, as you can see, I'm just gonna pull the yarn up until point because this is my starting point I'm gonna hold that down and I'm just gonna start wrapping my yarn all around now if this were hot glue or regular glue it would stay in place and that would be perfect you could possibly even tie it I'm sure whatever floats your boat whatever works for you and you're just going in and out and in and out and you could use, definitely, I suggest use a longer piece of yarn because then you won't have to like stop and keep cutting pieces of yarn. And then once you have it all done, 
you could take some beads, and these are flat back beads that you get in a bag for like a dollar, maybe a dollar ninety nine at any arts and crafts store, and then you can glue those on, and you have a really cool inexpensive bracelet. And these will be awesome to make for Christmas. I, oh, I'm sorry, I know that's a little hard for you to see. Um, hang on one second, I got another one. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. Um. If I take one of these beads, now you can see a little bit better. Or better yet, like this one I have finished and I haven't glued all the way down. I had some beads from something else and I used a yarn, a deep brown yarn. And I just actually temporarily, because I'm not really done with this, attach the beads to it so you could kind of see how they would look. And then bada bing, bada boom. Woo! You have an ultra cute bracelet obviously you would glue yours down and it would be really really cute oh and that is so simple so today i showed you how to take a plastic empty water bottle cut a piece off wrap some yarn around it have a little bit of glue some knickknacks and you can make and create the cutest little recycled bracelets um i did this project with a group of children one time and some college kids and they actually took other parts of the bottle and made rings and buttons and brooches and all types of stuff so creativity is a key here let your imagination soar once again making a bracelet from used spent water bottles obviously you could use soda bottles too if you wanted whatever floats your boat all right so i hope you've enjoyed today's quick video craft tutorial and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.